Hey everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video, an awesome video. You're definitely going to want to check this one out, showing you how to get free uh, tethering to your PC without having root access. So you're not going to need root access whether you have a friend or family member that doesn't want to root their phone. Now they can get free tethering and be wired tethering to their PC so they can have internet everywhere, whether it be a laptop or a desktop. So now what you're going to need to do is make sure you have a cell phone, obviously, having 3G connection and you're ready to go. I have an HTC Evo 3D through Sprint right here. You'll need to click on the link in the description of the video. There's actually going to be two links. The first link will be to the application itself, the Clockwork Mod Tether application in the Android market, as you can see. But the thing is, I believe Sprint might have removed the app from the market for the time being because when I hit install, none of my devices are compatible and all of them are for Sprint. So I believe that Sprint has removed this from, from the market. But anyways, if you do have a Sprint device, you'll click on the other link. But otherwise, if you have a another device, whether it be Galaxy Nexus, uh, Droid Razor, any AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, Verizon phone, it will work. So just download it from the market. You're also going to need to click on the other link in the description. If you have a Sprint device, just scroll down on the other link and you'll need to download this Tether APK file. So just click on this and it will download. It'll look like this, tether.apk. Just make sure you get that APK file onto your device. So if you can't find the tethering app in the market, you'll need to do this. So download tether APK, put it on your either SD card or internal storage, and then go to your device and hit menu, go to settings, go to applications, and then up at the top, check unknown sources and hit OK. So make sure unknown sources is checked up at the top. Make sure you have it checked like so and then go ahead and go to development right here and then check USB debugging up at the top and hit OK. So make sure you have both of those checked and go to your file manager now. If you don't have a file manager, just get one from the market. I recommend ES File Explorer to uh, navigate to find that tether.apk file. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my file explorer all right, so apparently the Evo 3D does not have a file explorer on stock, so I just went ahead and installed ES File Explorer, as I said, from the market. I'm going to go ahead and go to it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and find that tether.apk I put on my device. As you can see, tether.apk, and select it. Then just hit install right here. So install the tether APK and hit done. Now you should be able to see it in the market. So I'm going to go I'm in the market, in your app drawer. So I'm going to go down. As you can see, Tether is right there. I don't have super user. I'm not rooted, anything like that on my Evo 3D. So as you can see, Tether is right there. So whether you get it from the market or install it manually, your choice, it does not matter. So make sure you have it on your device. Once it's on there, you're going to need to install something on your PC now, whichever one you decide to install it on, whether it be a desktop, laptop, etc. But click on the link in the description takes you to this article again, and you have three options, whether you have a Mac, a Windows PC, or a Linux. Uh, it doesn't matter, you can download one of the three. I have a Windows PC, specifically a Dell XPS 17 running Windows 7. Uh, but So I click on the Windows one. All right, now that it's done downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it, and then go ahead and just hit run. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the installation process. It's going to go through the setup wizard, hit next, hit next. Hit next again. Now it should run through the install process. My guess is it'll ask for user uh, account control. It did, so go ahead and hit yes. And then it should complete the installation process for the tethering application that needs to go on your PC. So look, just be a little patient, let it run through, let it do its thing. And uh, it looks like it's done. It actually opened up a web browser, Internet Explorer. And now what you're going to need to do is make sure you download and install the correct drivers for your certain device, whether it's a Motorola device, a Google device, such as the Galaxy Nexus. Either one works, the GSM and the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, uh, or a Nexus device. You have Samsung drivers, HTC drivers, which is the ones I'm gonna, going to install because I have an HTC phone at the moment, LG or a ZTE. Uh, drivers as well. So you have all those different drivers. Just choose the one you need and run through the install process. 
And once you're done installing your drivers, that's it. You're ready to go. So go ahead and just close out of the installation uh, process and go back to your device. All right, so you're ready to go. What you're gonna need to do on your device is you can actually just go ahead and plug it in. I do wanna make a side note that if you have PDA Net installed on your PC, you probably are gonna have to uninstall it. So un if you have it installed, uninstall it and reboot your PC and then uh, just start this over. So go ahead and plug in your device into your PC and hit charge only, do not mount it. Then go ahead and go to the app itself, the Tether app, select it and start it up. So then uh, it says USB Tether is not running, click the toggle, so just press it and it'll start up. Now we need to go to our PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the start button, press it and then hit all programs and then go to the clockwork mod folder. So go ahead and find the clockwork mod folder. It is right there, press it and select tether. So go ahead and press tether. Should open up the tethering app, you're gonna need to allow it user account control. So hit yes, and it will open up the tethering application. So once that's open, you are actually ready to go. As you can see, it says on the left, tether is not running. Just hit the start button in the bottom left. It'll run through a log, it'll get everything going. And I obviously I have, as you can see in the bottom right, I turned off my Wi-Fi, so I'm not connected to any internet connection at the moment. So it's going to go ahead and load up. We'll see if it uh, if it gets going. Just be patient with it, uh, unless you get an error, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and just be patient and let it uh, let it do its thing. As you can see, it's loading through. It's a starting tether right there, uh, waiting for interface to get ready. It's going to wait five seconds. It's going to get going, and there we go. So it says. Uh, Set network location right here, awesome. So I'm gonna hit home network and hit close. So here we go. So it says tethering connection is going. It uh, looks like it's closing for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing, see why it's doing what it's doing. It says it has disconnected. So now, as you can see, it says tethering connection closed. I'm gonna hit stop. Now that it's doing all these weird things, I'm just gonna hit start again. So I'm gonna start it back up. And in the bottom right, it looks like it's identifying network access, says no network access. But now on the app it says Tether has connected. So here we go. So it says phone's connected. In the bottom right, it looks like it's connected and internet access. So there we go. So if you run into any problems, just restart it. You can restart it on your phone, device, etc. As I said, you need PDA net uninstalled. I'm going to go ahead and look at my phone, see what it's doing now. So let's op open it up. As you can see right there, Awesome, it lets you know uh, how much is uploading and downloading. You have 13 days of a trial version and I believe um, you can pay a certain amount of money to, I think it might be $5. I think to buy yeah it's 4.99 uh as an in-app purchase to uh to get unlimited tethering so it'll there be there will be a premium version so you just hit menu and you can hit buy tether so you can purchase it with a redeem code android market in app or paypal so you got those options but you have a 13 day trial i believe after the trial you get uh 20 megabytes a day with this application which is it's still a decent amount, so just keep that in mind. You'll get a 14-day trial, and then it will run out. So I, I highly recommend buying this. I mean, come on, pay five bucks as opposed to 40 a month, or whatever it is for a tethering plan, um, and it is completely free. So try it out for 13 days, and if you, well, it's 14 days, you get to try it. So try it out for 14 days, and then if you like it, be sure to buy it. And make sure if you download it from the market, give it five stars. So be sure to give the app five stars, and that's it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prove to you guys that it's working. I'm gonna go to google.com, google.com, and hit enter, and it should load up. It should be using my 3G network connection, which it is, as you can see right up there. So it's loading. I have terrible 3G access right now, so just keep that in mind. So it'll load very slow, but it definitely will work. And there we go. Awesome. Loads on up. As you can see, really slowly, but it did load up. So it's using my 3G connection without on my unrooted device, so I don't need root access. So awesome. Really big shout out and thanks to the developer, uh, Kush. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. K-O-U-S-H. Be sure to thank him. 
definitely be sure to thank him. Give an awesome review on In The Market app. Um, I'll post a link to his Twitter as well in the description. So be sure to follow him on Twitter and give him a shout out on his Twitter as well. Uh, be sure to uh, add me on Twitter as well. Subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be down in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any problems, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out.